The human body is just a container for the soul said UFO abductee. One particularly controversial area of UFO abduction study is the extraction of the human soul by extraterrestrial beings. Based on decades of research and interviews with hundreds of UFO abductees, Dr. Malanga presents a chilling theory. UFO occupants possess the capability to extract a human soul from its body using rotating cylinders. According to Dr. Malanga's hypothesis, aliens view the human body as merely a vessel for the soul, a concept eerily reflected in reports from various abductees. One such abductee claimed that the extraterrestrials told her that the human body was just a container for the soul and of no other value. This perspective reflects a disconnect between human and alien understanding of life and existence, suggesting that these extraterrestrial entities are primarily concerned with the soul, possibly for its energy, consciousness, or some unknown purpose. The Cylinder Soul Extraction Process In Alien Cicatrix, Dr. Malanga details a process whereby abductees are subjected to a procedure that involves two vertical cylinders, one smaller and transparent, which contains an alien specimen, and another larger, opaque, black, and metallic. The abductee is placed into the larger cylinder, which is enveloped in what appears to be white fumes or vapors. As the abductee is enclosed in this cylinder, they begin to feel a strong pressure on their solar plexus, coupled with intense vibrations throughout the body. These sensations are associated with the rapid rotation of the cylinder walls, as the cylinder reaches the correct rotational speed, a loud noise accompanies the process, and the abductee's soul is reported to detach from the body and travel towards the smaller cylinder containing the alien specimen. According to Dr. Malanga, this operation, though brief, leaves the abductee in a state of extreme confusion and fatigue. The technological explanation provided for this process involves complex magnetic fields. Dr. Malanga theorizes that the large cylinder may function similarly to devices like nuclear magnetic resonance, NMR, or electron-proton resonance, EPR machines. These devices utilize magnetic fields to synchronize the rotational axes, or spin, of atomic particles. And in the case of UFO abductions, the process may involve synchronizing the axes of consciousness and space associated with the soul. Dr. Malanga's superspin theory posits that by rotating these axes in phase with the mind of the abducted subject, the soul can be detached from the body. This hypothesis suggests a form of extraterrestrial technology that is far beyond human understanding, capable of manipulating consciousness at a fundamental level. The abductee's experience of coldness during this process further supports the idea that the cylinder operates similarly to magnetic resonance devices, which often require cooling with liquid helium. The abductee's shivering during hypnotic regression reflects this intense cold, reinforcing the connection between the soul extraction procedure and advanced technological mechanisms used by these beings. Alien uses a physical body only when he needs it, but he actually does not have a body. He partially disconnects the abductee's soul and brings it to his dimension, and there, with no hurry and using the proper equipment, he draws the energy he needs. After this milking process, the soul, which never totally disconnects from the abductee's body, not even in this lapse of space-time, gets to be normally connected again to the body of the legitimate owner until the next exploitation. Out-of-body experiences and UFO abductions Interestingly, the notion of soul extraction and out-of-body experiences, OBEs, is not unique to UFO abduction cases. In fact, OBEs can be induced artificially under certain conditions. For example, it has been reported that individuals subjected to extreme physical forces, such as those experienced in centrifuges used for astronaut and pilot training, have had OBEs. During these episodes, individuals describe leaving their bodies and gaining an awareness beyond the normal human experience. They report floating above their own bodies, passing through walls, and observing events from a distance. A billionaire Robert Bigelow, founder of Bigelow Aerospace as well as the Bigelow Institute for Consciousness Studies, has claimed, video below, that the high levels of gravitational force, G-force, induced during centrifuge training can cause consciousness to separate from the body, allowing individuals to see beyond the confines of the room and even perceive things in distant locations.
In one documented case, an Air Force general described an out-of-body experience that occurred during centrifuge training. As he was subjected to increasing G-force, his consciousness detached from his physical form, and he observed himself walking through a hallway, passing through walls, and hearing conversations that were happening in adjacent rooms. Upon returning to his body, the general described the experience as something that could not be explained through normal human awareness. This account is strikingly similar to the experiences reported by UFO abductees, particularly those subjected to the cylinder extraction procedure. In both scenarios, the consciousness or soul appears to detach from the body and experience a heightened awareness or ability to perceive things beyond the normal physical senses. This parallel raises intriguing questions about the nature of consciousness and whether it can indeed be separated from the body under certain conditions, whether through extraterrestrial technology or extreme physical stress. Throughout the history of UFO abductions, there have been numerous reports of abductees encountering cylindrical devices that seem to play a key role in their experiences. One notable case from 1966 involves a woman in San Diego, California, who was awakened in her apartment by three beings with fluorescent skin. She was floated out of her window into a hovering spacecraft, where she was placed into a mind probe chamber. A glass-like cylinder descended from the ceiling and covered her, initiating a process of mental probing. The witness was able to resist the procedure and later found herself back in her apartment with little memory of what had transpired. Another case from 1959 involved a witness driving through the desert near Fort Garland, California. After experiencing a time lapse, the witness recalled standing inside a transparent cylinder within a large room. Several humanoid beings wearing armor-like outfits communicated with the witness through telepathy, explaining that they were aboard a hovering space station above Earth. The witness was shown advanced technology, including an anti-gravity device, before being returned to his original location. These historical accounts, along with many others, suggest that cylindrical devices have been a recurring feature in UFO abduction cases for decades. Whether used for soul extraction, mental probing, or other purposes, these cylinders seem to represent a common element of extraterrestrial technology, perhaps used for manipulating human consciousness or extracting vital information from abductees, soul transfer procedures, and cloning. Another aspect of UFO abductions that aligns with Dr. Malanga's research is the concept of soul transfer. In one reported case, abductee Linda Porter described being taken aboard an alien craft and shown a room with clear tube-like containers. Inside these containers were humans, or human-like beings, floating in a purple gas. These individuals appeared to be in a state of suspended animation. In another instance, Linda Porter witnessed the transfer of a soul from a dying man into a younger clone of his body. She described the soul as a beautiful, iridescent yellow form, which floated from the dying man's solar plexus into the new body, leaving the old body to be discarded as an empty vessel. Once again, the idea that the human body is merely a container for the soul is emphasized, with the aliens showing little regard for the physical form once the soul has been extracted or transferred. This process of soul transfer, along with the concept of cloning, introduces yet another layer of complexity to the UFO abduction phenomenon. If extraterrestrial beings have mastered the ability to transfer souls between bodies, it raises profound questions about the nature of identity, life, and death. Are these beings seeking to achieve immortality through cloning and soul transfer? Or are they simply experimenting with human consciousness in ways that we cannot yet comprehend? Dr. Corrado Malanga's research into UFO abductions and the extraction of the human soul presents a thought-provoking and unsettling glimpse into the possible motivations and capabilities of extraterrestrial beings. Through the use of advanced technology, these beings may have found a way to manipulate human consciousness, detaching the soul from the body and using it for purposes that remain unclear.